Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you one clip to watch and a Twitter feed to look at. This is, it just, need I say more than Nancy Pelosi? I should just start this video, uh, say Nancy Pelosi and that's it, just end the video, right? Because you, you know that uh, this ghoul just no uh, the, the 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 immorality knows no bounds I just, I just can't believe she she did this right after everything nancy pelosi's done and she's done a lot okay this probably takes the biscuit yeah now this is the woman who likes to shout from the rooftops that everything is about the children even though she is pro <laughs> the procedure you know what medical procedure i'm talking about yeah it's like the Democrats actively hate children. That, that, that's what it seems to me. Right, that they just seem to hate them, right? Um, so there was a um, Latino um, Congresswoman who has recently won. Um, she, her family was here today. I believe it was a swearing-in ceremony. The, uh, these are the children here of the Latino GOP, I might add congresswoman um and that is of course nancy pelosi and she shoves nancy pelosi if you don't believe me wait until you see the clip she shoves this girl out of the way or tries to shove her out of the way um just just horrendous she's probably drunk you know you know nancy pelosi is a taxpayer funded um drunkard essentially just everything that this poisonous woman this is if she was alive in the middle ages and this isn't hyperbole this is the truth if she was alive in the middle ages or the dark ages or whenever the renaissance she would be one of these evil upper class um kind of uh women who just treat people appallingly like treat the peasants really badly she would do that she is definitely and i and I, this isn't hyperbole definitely that person she is that person only she's born out of her time she's born in the modern era instead of in the dark ages where she belongs so this video is about this incident so we'll get into that if you haven't yet though please like the video subscribe to the podcast hit the notification bell and share the video around also have a membership scheme you can join there's a join button next to the sub button. I have eight amazing, beautiful members who honour and humble me that they support the podcast by becoming a member in these trying times and in this quiet little corner of the internet because we are shadow banned and deboosted. Okay, let's go. Okay, so it's uh, the GOP a Latino Congresswoman is Maya Flores. Uh, you may have heard of her. Um, she's done very well. Flipped, I believe she flipped a seat that was Democrat uh, solid blue for quite some time. That's what I believe. So that girl there is her daughter. Uh, I believe that one is too. And this is, of course, the swamp creature Nancy Pelosi. Uh, we want our ambassador to come into the picture. Did you see that? so it's slowed down now so this is the photo op they were having i believe that um myra flores was being sworn in and look at what nancy pelosi does look she elbows her daughter what a disgusting thing to do right it's no it's no coincidence when it comes to leftists there are no coincidences yeah although they'll try and tell you that everything bad is a coincidence unless it's Unless it's say a someone from the GOP doing something, then it's no coincidences. But so I'm playing it on repeat while I make my point. So it's no coincidence that these people are the people of who support the medical medical procedure. I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. It's in the news at the moment. Not only do they support it, they celebrate it up into and in and beyond the point. In some cases, not in all cases, but beyond the point of birth. Um, as Ralph Northam, I'm sure you remember Ralph Northam. Again, no coincidence, he's a Democrat, and he was outlining his um, grand vision for how the procedure would be carried out with <laughs> living, breathing babies. This, it's, it's just horrendous, isn't it? Look at the Democrat. She's not a Democrat politician, but she's um, an outspoken uh, supporter of the Biden regime. She's on the View. Um, Anna Navarro, I believe her name is. Do you remember? Do you remember the clip when she was saying she was basically making the case for 
offing um, the unborn, and choosing my words carefully, if they show the slightest sign of having a disability. <laughs> there's, there's a term for that. Well, I'm sure you know what that term is. It's no coincidence that these people are all on the same side. They all believe in the procedure up into and past the point of birthing. Uh, and this happens to be the woman who's elbowing the child of a, a GOP Latino. Yeah. And Matt, I mean, we could play the, the... Imagine if it was Donald Trump game. Or Melania Trump. Let's say that that was Melania Trump and it was a child of Barack and Michelle Obama. What do you think the uproar would be? This is the thing with white Democrats. White Democrats, they seem... They seem to believe that um, minority communities belong to them. Like they're, they're de facto um, serfs of the Democrat Party. That's, that seems to be their attitude. And remember, this is Nancy Pelosi. This is the one who talks about, oh, we're doing it for the children. It's all about the children. She's been in politics, the DC swamp, for far too long to the point now where she doesn't know how to interact like a normal human being. She genuinely believes that the people, the average person, are just dumb serfs. Right? She, she seems to genuinely believe that. And one final thing I'll say before we move on is she is a woman, Nancy Pelosi is a woman, born way out of her time. Make no mistake about this, and this is a strong comment. If she was alive in the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, Antiquity, whenever, she would be a... Th her evil tendencies would run riot. She would be the type of person to spit at a, a, a begging peasant, a starving peasant family. Or she would, like... She would, you, do you know what I mean? Like, the really evil kind of Dark Age snob type upper we're, we're the best we're your betters we can do what we want yeah look at look at her husband paul mr insider trader himself look at how they were trying to let him get off with dui okay only thanks to the pressure of tucker carlson and tucker carlson's viewers uh phoning the california highway patrol did they finally begrudgingly charge him with a misdemeanor when it should have been more than a misdemeanor okay it's horrendous, isn't it? That, that there's no compassion. They're just Nancy Pelosi, like most Democrats, they're one hundred percent politician and zero percent human. Right. I hope now you can see why these people were so scared of Donald Trump. Look, I hate the way she flaps with her hand. You notice that Pelosi does that. She kind of flaps with her hand like this, like open fingered, kind of. Ugh. So this is the stunning, articulate, and amazing Latino woman, Myra Flores. She is the representative for the Texas, um, the 34th district in Texas. Excuse me. She flipped it. She flipped it. She flipped it um, red. Okay, so let's see what... Remember, this is her daughter, right? So she says... I'm so proud of my strong, beautiful daughter for not allowing this to face her. Yes, exactly. Not only that, I'm proud of Myra Flores for not going ballistic, for not um, creating a scene, right? This is, this is the ingenuity of her response because Nancy Pelosi created a scene, right? Had Myra Flores responded in a, like, an over-the-top fashion, which... Could be reasonable considering that it's her daughter we're talking about. And any parent that did act like that, you, you could understand. If you've got a heart, you could understand. But by not creating a secondary scene, all eyes are still on Pelosi. So she says, I'm so strong. Uh, I'm so proud of my strong and beautiful daughter for not allowing this to phase her. She continued to smile and pose for the picture like a queen. No child should be pushed to the side for a photo op. Yeah, because that's what the Pelosi's of the world it's all optics everything's optics that's why they control the mainstream media it's why they try to control social media it's why conservative content creators are deboosted and shadow banned because it's all about optics so she didn't want the child of myra flores 
in the photo op with her. So she nudged her out of the way. She's like, peasant, how dare you get in my photo op? And look, she's smiling while she does it. Just a, a horrendous person, a disgusting, disgusting person that Nancy Pelosi is. And I'm glad one million people have seen it. And I've noticed that in these situations, the Trump reply guys or the Fox reply guys or whatever, the, the reply guys, you know these leftists who just attach themselves to Republican or conservative commentators or politicians and the like, and they just respond to everything within a couple of seconds. Yeah, like, if, if Donald Trump was on Twitter and he made a comment about anything this second, in two seconds later, the leftists would be there. That's, that's what they live for. Funny, when things like this happen, they're nowhere to be seen. I just love it. They're, they're, they're suddenly gone quiet. So, good for her. JB says, shows you you're an amazing woman and mother. Proud of you, yes. <laughs> that's a, JT Martin says, that's her vodka holding hand. She's like She likes that one free in case a drink comes by. Yeah, make no mistake, she is a raging alcoholic, Pelosi is. These are the people who are in charge of the United States. You've got Biden, who's a drooling imbecile. Then you've got the Speaker of the House, Pelosi, who's a corrupt alcoholic monster. Yeah. Pushing Pelosi. <laughs> I like that one. So a lot of people are saying she handled that like a boss, and yeah mad respect i agree i don't believe that i don't believe that's the case i think she handled that um i think she was probably a little bit intimidated or scared the child definitely knew she was being nudged right you would feel that um but she was i suppose you're probably right she did act like a boss or should i say not a boss she acted like a professor she acted mature the child acted mature the republican child and the democrat adult acted immature that is a perfect microcosm for the culture war. She was properly trained by a great parent. You see, that's the thing. That's the good thing about Republican conservative good values. Is that you teach, you, you raise your children right. The correct way to have decency. Here in the United Kingdom, I often say that working class people, our community, they need to stop looking at government to educate their children or to teach their children right from wrong. More parents in my community need to take an active role in their children's upbringing. They need to, they need to teach them right from wrong instead of just, oh, let the school do it. It is one, my one big gripe. Um, with my own community it irritates me a lot it's the thing about my own community that irritates me the most see this is what I mean look this is why what how her response is good because grouchy patriot and and again I can understand entirely where grouchy patriots come in from but he said if she pushed my child at my swearing-in ceremony, I'd be the first Mexican-born congresswoman with the shortest tenure. Yeah, that's probably what she wanted, Pelosi. She probably wanted that type of thing. She, want, she, she was probably trying to encourage that type of response. You never know with Pelosi. She's a snake. But optically, what does this say? I mean, as I say, these Democrats, Pelosi, these are the people who are pro the procedure uh, up until and including the point where it's actually... The baby is actually out in the world. And she's elbowing and nudging children out of the way. They, they just seem to hate children. They seem to hate families. They seem to hate traditionalism. Okay. So yeah, it's just more and more praise. Uh, Pelosi's a monster. Yes, I agree. The photo wasn't the motive. It was pure spy. I absolutely agree. It was. I agree. And she is a witch. It's true. Pelosi is she's too far gone. You will she's too far gone. She is the example uh, there's a lot of politicians out there who are corrupt, um, greedy, all the rest of it, but they're not necessarily inherently evil. Nancy Pelosi is an example of an evil human being, right? And you, you can if you look at her, if you watch her and, and the things she does, 
you will see that Nancy Pelosi isn't just corrupt like the other swamp politicians. She isn't just bought out and compromised. She is thoroughly evil and you can see it on her. Okay, and it's something that I notice that other people are noticing too. So we will end in a minute. I just quickly want to show you the New York Post, right? Let's see how the New York Post frames this. Okay, so <laughs> New York Post. This is uh, this is how the mainstream media do it. They don't just lie. They do that, of course, but they they also they do other things that that are dishonest. They lie by omission, but also they lie by suggestion, right? For example, here, look. GOP representative Myra Flores accuses, accuses Speaker Pelosi of, and she's put pushing daughter during photo op. So there are plenty of Democrats, there are plenty of leftists who are going to read this and gonna, they, the words that they are going to remember is accuses, yeah? And the, and the quotation marks pushing. And then they'll go to their wine nights or their their they'll go back to their campus college campus and they'll say oh it's all just misinformation i read the new york post last night and they said it's just an accusation what they won't do is watch the clip but luckily censors prevailed <laughs> so in the comment section of new york post's own tweet you get people saying well she did right we all saw it i mean it's on video she did, we all saw it, she's right, it's right there on the video. It's clearly on video, there's my comment. Video shows it, and it's just the same all the way down. Look, and there's someone here actually showing it on camera. And, again, where are all the Trump reply guys, the Fox reply guys? When things like this happen, they all mysteriously go quiet. <laughs> We've got one here, look. She slightly moved her body, not exactly a shove. Got Ray showed, of course. This is the thing with leftists, they will see what they want to see. So this leftist wants you to believe that. <laughs> Quote, she slightly moved her body. So let's watch her slightly move her body. Okay. Did I miss it? Yeah, here we go, look, boom. You can see it. Right? She looks down. Look, she looks down at her. And then she 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 shoves her to the side. She looks down at her and shoves her to the side. You can clearly see it. And this person rightly deserves this ratio. Yep, it's mostly peaceful. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Damn, you just got ratioed. Give it the thing. See this person. I was about to say you could show them video footage of it, but you've got the video footage. You waste your time responding because these people will never see it. They won't see it, even though you're showing them it in front of their face. They will never see it, okay? Because they don't want to. That's that's how that's how they work. The Democrats. Look, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.